I've got to stop for 10 minutes, guys. I, I can't talk. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I enjoy all your videos, mate. Watch them all the time. They are going to film me, you know. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh, just one real thing. Uh, mate said about Jesus what didn't die on the cross. It was his Jehovah's Witness. Uh, was he on the, was he on the tree stuff, wasn't it? Yeah, Jesus died on a cross, and the Bible's very clear about that. I know you and their witnesses are... Uh, they're her they're heretics. Things. Yeah. I know they're not, they're not Christians. Now. I know that. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not a practicing Catholic. Yeah. But uh, he didn't die on the crucifix. Yeah, no, no, no. He didn't die on the cross. No, no, no. The Bible's very clear. No, the Bible's very clear. No, the Bible's very clear, no, no, the Bible's very clear bro. It wouldn't take your weight. That's what he says. No, it wouldn't he's, take your weight. If your whole body is just he's talking crap. Is he? Okay. Yeah, he's talking. <laughs> he's honestly talking crap. So, so the, the 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 Bible is very clear. He hung on a cross. So let's just let me just show you. Um. So. He then handed over to them to be crucified. Now the point of crucified, that's where we get the word cross from, cruxis. Right. So it's coming, it's coming from the root of the word cross, okay. right? They took him therefore and he went out bearing his own cross. Okay. But I'm sure he could find something where it says slab of wood, tree stump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's often described that way as well. But, but a cross, a cross if you think about it, in a very metaphorical sense, if you're very loosely poetic, you can say it looks like a tree. It's made of wood. Yeah. It stands. It's got branches pointing out in different directions. Yeah. Okay. So they can, they can. So you, you can call it a tree, in that sense. But it, it literally says it, yeah, bro. It say literally that, yeah. says it. His own cross. And as well, one other thing as well. You've obviously been to a kingdom hall, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't even know it's a place of worship, would you? Really? It no, just not really. Like a place and it's just a hall. There's no big cheese or there's no crucifix. Yeah, it's there. just a hall there. He, he questions why people wear the crucifix as well, because obviously Jesus, well, is God. Yeah. God. Why would you wear the crucifix if it's the symbol that he died? Like, if your mother got shot with a gun, yeah, would you wear the gun round your? Uh, well, exactly. Gun? Have you heard this argument? Yes, before? I've heard this argument before. But if anything, this is evidence of the crucifixion. Think about it for a second. Why on earth, why on earth would people wear the symbol that is connected to their teacher dying? Well, one, it demonstrates the importance of the teacher. Two, it demonstrates that the means of his death has more significance than simply about dying. And three, it's evidence of how he actually died. So the fact that er the earliest Christians were wearing a crucifix the fact that the earliest Christians were all wearing a crucifix is, is evidence of the fact that A, he had followers who understood that he, his, of his, his personal importance, B, that they understood his death to be important, and three, that they understood the, um, the, 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 that he had died on a cross. So if anything, if the brother is criticizing the earliest Christian practice, he's, he's admitting that there's evidence demonstrating what we believe. How can there be so much confusion when you, there isn't. unlike the Quran, there's only one, isn't there? But I know you... Brother, there's no, there's no confusion. Well, no, there must be confusion. If you've got some sections of Christians yeah. not thinking that, but obviously you think that. No, no, no. Firstly, firstly, the, Jehov the Jehovah's Witnesses yeah. are not Christian. They are an American religion founded in the 1800s yeah. by an American. Christianity was founded by our Lord Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago in Palestine. There is zero confusion amongst Christians about whether Jesus died on a cross. Or the only people that are confused about that are the people trying to deny it. Because they made the point just as much as you guys, so why would they be well, the thing is that, to that? The thing is that they're not using the Bible. What they're using is what's called the New World Translation. Yeah. And the New World Translation is condemned by every academic as being an unfaithful translation of the Greek New Testament. One of the leading scholars of Greek New Testament literature was Dr. Bruce Metzger. Now he's a, a shy academic, he was a shy academic type, but he was so outraged about the New World Translation that he actually produced one of the only videos that we ever have of him. He went on video to condemn the production of the New World Translation as being erroneous and deceptive. And that's what the Jehovah's Witnesses read. They don't read a, a reliable translation of the Bible. 
So we as, this is why we Christians, we need to learn apologetics. We need to learn how to defend our faith. We need to learn how to stand up for our faith. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I've, watched, I've seen every single one of your videos I find, and I'm not even a practicing Christian. I'm, I'm, I'm Catholic, I've enjoyed it, but I'm from up now. Yeah. But it's two people I follow, it's you, not Rob, and Tommy Robertson. Yeah. How do you like being in that company? Um, well, I mean... <laughs> because I despise his love, and I'm yeah. a massive issue. I follow Tommy everywhere. Yeah. Uh, everywhere. And I, I've just come onto your, uh, look at your videos, accidentally, DCCI, Daniel Kane and all that as well. Mm. I haven't seen a lot lately, but... Uh, yeah. So yeah. here it is, I've got a couple of thoughts that I would like to make in response to that. Okay, the first is, if you want to win, I know. I know stop I hating like Islam. Yeah. Start loving the church. I don't hate the church. No, 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 no listen, listen to what I'm saying, bro. I'm trying to counsel you. The, the, the only way to win this struggle isn't cons letting our heart be consumed by hatred, but let our heart be consumed by love for something better. Yeah. So much love for something better that we're willing to live by it, we're willing to advance its goals, we're willing to advance its space in society. And eventually that love for something better than Islam will simply crowd it out and suffocate it. It's by loving something better that you'll beat Islam, not by hating Islam. You're never going to defeat Islam by hating it. You'll never, you'll never defeat Islam by hating Islam. You will, uh, no, I... I don't hate Muslims. Don't hate Islam, yeah, the no, ideology. The ideology. I find it hard to like them. Yeah. Uh, I don't hate them. No, I can like Muslims. But, but my point is, my point is, the reason why I'll never convert to Islam and why I'm so utterly committed to defeating Islam isn't because I hate Islam. It's because I love the church and I recognize that Islam is a threat to the church. And that's one of my counsels to you. My second counsel is this. I know you're not a patriot, are you? Um, in, I, I am. Know, a, I've seen your arguments with, uh, with people. And, yeah. Uh, I, I'm a patriot. I'm a patriot as well. And yeah. the way it's going, look at Mars. I think they're, they're eight percent, aren't they? As, I we, think they're approaching thirty percent. Thirty. I think they're approaching thirty percent. You, you can see lately the issues they've got. I just don't want us going down that road. Right, but here's the thing, bro. And here's the thing. Excuse me. Sorry to interrupt. Sorry to interrupt you. Got, are you going to be uploading? That video? Uh, yes, I should be. Yeah. May I give you? Could you give me a call? Uh, just let me know on that when you've uploaded. It. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'd love to see it. Uh, uh, very interesting. I love, the, I love your passion, brother. Yeah. And, and um, your knowledge of the Bible and the Quran yeah. is exceptional. And and uh, of course you've got knowledge in yeah. other things, uh, uh, the abuses that are going on around the world. Yeah. yeah. The, the solution, what I see, is we need to have a freedom of speech parliament because it's not the Muslims so much, it's our weakness of the government not being able to say to Muslims who want to leave Islam, you'll have slave, I, safe I, refuge, the British people will look after you, yeah. and, and if, if you want to leave Islam... And this is something I do want to do a talk on, because the brother's right. The reason, and this is the reason why I'm saying that you've got to love the church, because the political establishment of our countries are wedded to an ideology that will defeat them. And until we free ourselves of that ruling class, yeah, we've got to invest in something that will outlive that ruling class, and now, that's the church. Now listen, listen, we got an election in four years' time. We send off 650 emails to all the MPs and we ask them, where do you stand on freedom of speech? Are you for it or against it? The ones that are against it, we run candidates or free speech candidates, whether it's Lawrence Fox or whether it's David Curtin. Yeah. We, whatever, as long as they run on a free there speech... There won't be many saying they're against it. Yeah. Good. No, and but I don't good. know if that's going to be any... But good, because we can, we've can. we got to hold them to it. I bet you there are a lot who are going to say well, they, this. They they'll, say, to with, they'll say, I'm for free speech, but... I, I, as soon as they say but on the email... You've yeah, got I, I agree that, that free... That, that, that because, maintaining... Because all of our I agree that on. maintaining free speech is absolutely essential because free speech is toxic to Islam. Yeah. It is. Yeah, but let us be clear. As, as a Christian, I'm committed to something bigger, older, better, broader and wider than liberal democracy. Ah, liberal speak. democracy, from one second, Jesus, one second, one Jesus second, one second, brother, 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 one second. Liberal democracy, liberal democracy is, is possibly the, 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 the worst way of governing society. It just happens, to quote Winston Churchill, to be better than every other system that, that has been currently presented. But Christianity is not wedded to liberal democracy. Christianity and the church 
was here before liberal democracy and it will be here after liberal democracy. Well, I, I think liberal democracy has evolved because out of Christianity, we were able to let some brothers say, I don't believe, I want to become an atheist. And because of Jesus' teachings, these two potentially volatile ideologies were able to coexist and put forward the great age of steam, electricity, and right up into the internet, where we've got all this amazing technology because we lived in peace, we didn't kill Einstein, we didn't kill Darwin, we didn't kill these great minds, and I believe that classical liberalism is rooted in Christianity. Classical, classical liberalism it, it, it actually emerges from the Christian civil war of the Reformation. That's, that's where classical liberalism comes from. Europe was tearing itself to pieces because of a civil war between Protestants and Catholics. And so people were looking around for an answer that would allow Protestant and Catholics to live together, and they came up with the Enlightenment philosophies. But the thing is, where it those, failed well, though, one they second, one second, bro. The, the, the thing is, if you're committing yourself to the idea of liberal democracy, you're going to lose. The reason why you're going to lose is because liberal democracy, like every other political system, will have it has got a use by date. It's got a it's got a, 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 a no good after this date stamp. Every political system in history has always collapsed at some point. It's a philosophy. It's the, not so much. And a that system. philosophy is dying now because it's, it's failing it's being now. Attacked. No, it's being attacked. Just like it's Christianity is being attacked. Just like free speech and freedom of assembly. You can see today they're trying to move us on. It's, we're under attack. No, the church is under attack. Yes, and you, the Liberal Democrats, are under attack. But the point I'm not of saying I am. but I'm not no I'm not talking about the political party I'm just talking about liberal democracies but the point about liberal democracies is they are in the essence only a political ideology they're just an idea Christianity is an identity and an identity is always stronger than a political ideology I, I would say that the you have an idea that you have an identity in your head is an idea my identity is my values, my customs, my traditions, my sense of history, they are my ideas. doctrines, my doctrines. I am connected to the global church. We so when a Christian, ideas. so when a Christian is attacked in Armenia, I feel the pain here in London. But here's the problem: when the liberal democracies look how then look 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 how the liberal democrat look how the liberal democracies are not rallying to France. France is being boycotted. France is being protested against. France is being attacked. And look at how limp-wristed the liberal democracies are. Can I ask a question? Very simple question. You say France is attacked. Yes. France is being killed. Only three people is being killed in France. Oh, I'm one sorry. Minute, one only. Minute, one minute, one only three one minute, people. One minute, one minute. Only three let me, people. Let me finish. I'm sorry. We let don't want to play finish. down the no, fact no. that there are three in martyrs Syria, of the church. In Syria, in Syria today, today, it's being killed maybe a hundred people. And today, today, this day, if you listen to the news, why we don't care about these people and we care about that people? Why we? Allow me to reply. Rebecca, Allow me to reply. Why these people? Didn't Allow, me Allow me to reply. Allow me to reply because this is the Nobody problem. This is the problem with you guys. This is your weakness. It's because, because you don't have a sense of your own history. When the Muslims come forward with these counter narratives, you find it very well. difficult. Not a, not you find it. Oh, sorry, Syria, sir, will you stop being rude? Okay, okay, go on, go on. Because if I have to no, shout no, over no, you, no, no, I will do. All right, go on. So stop being rude because we were having a conversation. You wanted to ask a question. Yeah, You've I asked your question. You stop me. being rude. Okay, answer so me. let's go back to what I was saying. When the Muslims present these counter narratives, because you don't have a sense of your own. Yes, certainly. Unfortunately, otherwise you're going to end up getting COVID uh, rolling to what they're starting already. Yeah. Okay, so just put yourself. What about the flu? Okay. So, guy, so, bro, the thing is, when they present the counter narratives, right, we Christians don't. We Christians have a way, a resource to counter that because we have a knowledge of the sufferings of the church under Islam. But because you liberals have been separated from your Christian identity, you can't, you can't. I th they think they, this guy's got a knife. You need probably to get an officer to check him. This guy in the black hat with a mask.